After taking second place in conference last year, the Park Hill South track and field team has high hopes for the 2016 season. At the start of each practice, each coach has a different station to stretch the athletes and work on the athletes' running technique to become faster and stronger before the workout starts. These warm-ups can include ab workouts, hurdle warm-ups, and synthetic stretching, and upperclassmen are there to lead every day. I feel like leading by example works with these freshmen because you don't really have to say much to them. They just already do their jobs. So just doing what I do, they'll follow suit, and then they'll learn. The boys' team has only five seniors, two of which are throwers who participate in different workouts than the other senior runners. Although this senior class lacks size, they still feel like they can make an impact on others and help them become better runners. I think we make a huge, huge impact. It's only three of us, but we're very close, and we're very close with the team already, so I think we're already starting to make an impact. On the other hand, the girls are led by a strong senior class who think they can help lead others and grow in new leaders for the upcoming years. These girls are pushing each other to become a faster team and training a strong freshman class who carries lots of talent. Yeah, I do. They're actually really athletic and some of them are pretty way better than me. So, <laughs> With all the hard work, the boys and girls teams look to do well at the conference, district, sectional, and state meets and finish the 2016 season strong. Look out for the boys and girls teams in the upcoming meets as they continue to succeed. With CJ Kanzanieri, I'm Jake Przoski reporting for the Southside Scoop.